Okay, loading and unloading filament on the Taz is really, really easy. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and start print run and bring your uh, hot end up to the temperature that you're going to run your filament at. Uh, for PLA, it's typically 195C, 180, 190. It all depends on the product you're using. For ABS, it's 230, 240, somewhere in that neighborhood. Right, right now, mine's set at 210. I've got some PLA that requires a higher temperature to correctly extrude. Um, anyway, to open the, uh, the hot end, all you do is you lift this up and move that bearing out of the way. Okay, this is the, this, these two springs in conjunction with this bearing keep the uh, uh, filament against the hobbed bolt on the inside here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and run the uh, filament through the tube here, as you can see over here. And there's a hole in the center over here that the filament will go into. And I'm doing this blind, so we'll see how well I get it in there. There we go. And you're just going to push it all the way in, and you'll see it extrude just a little bit of plastic down at the bottom. And that's what you're after. And then go ahead and lift this up, put this in place, and then slide that in there. Okay. And then push your Bowden tube down. Or it's not a Bowden tube, it's just a guide tube down just a little bit. And there you go. You now have your printer loaded and ready to go. I would recommend you extrude just a little bit by clicking the extrude button on Print Run. And as you can see, it's extruding a little filament. And let's go ahead and hit it again just for good measure. And there we go. Next, we're going to go ahead and set it up to print the test octopus. And uh, we'll run that here in a second. Okay, now that we have the octopus G code file loaded and print run, let's go ahead and run the file. As you can see, it's putting down its first layer after doing a perimeter. It's kind of a thin layer. Looks like I will have a little adjustment to do on my Z-height. But it should start doing the infill first layer here real soon. And here it begins the first uh, filled layer.
Now it's doing a perimeter again. And then it will start doing another infill layer, but going the opposite direction. That way it builds a good solid layer of plastic as it builds. We'll catch up with it in a few minutes and see how it's going. And there we have it. But you can barely see it. But it's right there to test Octopus. This is literally the third print off this machine. And it's absolutely perfect. Uh, this needs to cool before I can pop it off. But as soon as it does, uh, I'll take some pictures of it for you.